Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. We ain't got Wyoming yet. It's gravy. <laughs> Y'all yeah. really don't look at nothing. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh, Scotty. Oh, y'all kill me, man. <laughs> hey, it'd be great if you guys did a video on. Oh, what's that? You already did it yesterday. Oh, yeah, okay, I did see. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm ready to do a wild wizard. Oh, my God. It's out. Oh, it's just a mod. <laughs> oh, man. I love and hate this all in the same villain, man. I uh, know you didn't get clickbaited to it. Look at the thumbnail, my friend. It says the Great America map. Hauling through Wyoming. You read the title and you fooled yourself. <laughs> I figure people would skip the title and just go ahead and just read the picture. That's what normally happens. Yeah, no April Fools. I mean, I didn't get anybody. <laughs> I mean, I literally put in the in the thumbnail the Great America map. Same as yesterday. Nobody asked. Yeah, you know, well, last time, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh, man! Oh, there you go. Thank you, there, B9. Appreciate it, man. Oh yeah, Mike. Yeah, we're we're driving the the one and true classic, man. <laughs> John, <laughs> read thumbnails. I was overrated. Nobody got time for that, bro. We just read the title and roll. <laughs> oh gosh, we'll have to G play. Well, I don't know. I think uh, <clears throat> uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, I think I think Joselito will. <laughs> oh man! All right. Well, you know what? <sighs> it shouldn't be the least bit surprising, but you know it's all right. I'm sure the bot will roast me today. Yes, man. I thought so. Oh my gosh, man. Y'all are killing me. Killing me, Smalls. All right, Sir Andre, what's up? Mike B9, good to see you guys. DeWitt as well. Uh, Daboom, what's up? Shinga, hello, man. <laughs> Great clickbait for non readers. Ah, yeah. I mean, you know, even the most people like, I oh, usually clickbait the thumbnail. You know, and they put some, like, you know, half naked chick on there. And they're like, oh, somebody's, oh my God, YouTube's allowed nudity. And then you get in there and it's like this random video and you're like, oh, that's clickbait. Or the, the ones where guys come in there and they're like, uh, you won't believe what happened after this. You know. And then you're like, oh, I just got had. <laughs> oh, you guys. Okay, man. I, I'm going to stop because then I'll make y'all mad. Because y'all know that SES is going to stream Wyoming for like three or at least three months. And then we'll get it. So y'all know I wouldn't get that first. <laughs> Gary Cordwell, number one fan, ten dollars, man. Thank you there, man. Appreciate that ten four radio check. And look, I changed y'all's colors now, so y'all are red and not pink. So anyway, man. All right, I, I will. I, I will stop there, man. What's up, TV? Good to see you, man. <laughs> I'm good, Skid Show. How are you, man? Trello, Trello, Billy, Saludos, my friend. Como estas? All right, let's roll some intro here. Let's get to driving. We got beef cattle haulers. Well, actually, you got everything from bison to pigs to, I, I don't think, horses, and, and then cattle, uh, and then the great and almighty uh, Kennyworth here, uh, classic <sighs> John Root edition. What else? One of the best Kenworths in the game. About to get a huge update. So anyway, we'll talk about that a little bit. All this around the turn, so don't go nowhere. Oh, right. I should always do such titles. I, well, I, we are. We are going through Wyoming. That's the thing. We are. We are. Idaho Falls, and we're going to try to find us one. Uh, yeah, we're going to go up through Jackson. Um, yeah, and maybe come down the, the 191. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was a legitimate like a legitimate thing. We're going to go through Wyoming. So that's why kind of where I was going with that. So what's up, Chris? Good to see you, man. The Beast of 102. This is not Pinkus Rook. Uh, Pinkus is a lot more like custom, and it's not updated yet. Um, links are in the description. Okay, a couple things you're going to notice. Um... 
<laughs> I'm not colorblind. So they're not yellow in chat. It's it's red on on the board here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. It's it's red on the board on on like y'all's uh, the alert. It's it's yellow depending on how much you donate inside the chat. But yeah, it's red on the. Uh, okay, never mind, guys. Oh, this is gonna be a rough night, isn't it? Yo, or what? What deals? What? What? What is that? I'm not sure. <laughs> what? Uh, what map? So this is um, this is the one. Actually, it's out of uh, ETS. Uh, it's ATS Lamb L A M B Sat Map. Uh, that's what it's called. But it's basically you can use it for like coast to coast and stuff because it does the whole thing. It does Mexico. It does all of Canada, so it's just the North American one. So any maps that you have, if this is in it, then it'll basically it'll work with it. So, um, what's up, Big Warrior Fifty Seven? How are you, man? Yeah, I'm safe, then. I know, man. What's up, Rajan? Good to see you, Kyle as well. Jose Lito, hello, man. I need to ask the eight ball. Hey, well, who's Lito get canned off moderator duty? So he can't use the eight ball tonight, baby. <laughs> uh don't bet on it. That's right, man. It's got my it's got my back. Uh, we've had a new stream overlay for quite a bit. Um, so a couple things. Uh, so let me let, let's really quick here uh, before we get driving. Point out a few things. Great America map, <clears throat> which you find in the description. Also, you should see if you haven't seen it yet. Um, I believe I don't know every ten or so minutes. Um, I believe every ten or so minutes, uh, stream elements is going to run by the exclamation commands. If just one person, of course, I know like five people put in. If you put that in chat, I've actually added a lot of commands. Now, you don't necessarily need to put these in every single day, but when we talk about certain trucks, talk about certain versions of trucks, we are featuring certain trucks, you'll have a command to just basically go to their Facebook page, go to their cell phone store or whatever. So we won't try to like subdivide every single mod. Um, and I definitely, if we're trying to feature a couple of things, then I'll try to do my best to kind of get those in. But if you're ever in live stream, then type those things in if you want an easy, you know, access like, oh, man, I need Ruta's link. What was that? And you're watching the stream, um, then you'll be able to see it come through in chat and stuff. So if someone will put the, um, excuse me, if someone put the exclamation commands in there, uh, we'll see what uh, we'll see what pops up. Uh, then you guys can go uh you can go check that out. I don't know why the T what TV. I don't know why is that on there. I have no idea. What's up, Kevin? How are you, man? Um, so uh, second thing is, I also figured something out. You'll see too that we changed our our deal down here to feature our monthly top donator. Uh, right now, that's Sir Kales. He has been super generous this month. So thank you, there, Kales. Uh, this is a culmination of just all the money uh, through the past like thirty days. It doesn't really have like a time set from month to month. But uh, he's been super generous, as well as a lot of other guys have scrolling across the left on Super Chats and donations. But I got rid of subscribers altogether. Uh, a lot of people have been asking, what's the deal with YouTube? Why is my subscribers not showing up? YouTube, by design, has finally, they finally answered my question. Um, YouTube, by design, has stopped the automatic subscription alerts for streamers. So when you sub to a channel, I don't know. And that time spectrum between you and you sub to a channel can be four to six hours. Um, about every stream, we have somewhere between 25 and 50. That could vary depending on what we're doing every single night. Um, but usually between 25 and 50 new subscribers come in. Some of those are private. Some of those are what? We see nothing. And all we see is this same you know, the same, the same name on whatever subscript or whatever the guy is that's a brand new sub to the channel. So <clears throat> I just elected... Uh, to go ahead and throw a big shout out to those guys that are really uh, super huge supporters of the channel and uh, and either donate well this in this case will be donate over the past 30 days um, just to give them a little extra shot of recognition so uh, appreciate you guys for what you do the other two are, are weekly donations um, our top weekly donations and super chats per every seven days um, so you know that's those guys there so I just want to point that out. Uh, why you don't see that, why you don't see subscribers, it's it's why. It's YouTube's deal. They've done it by design. I have no idea why. So there it is. That's pretty much uh, that's pretty much all we got now. So let's see. Let's go ahead and let's uh, – I'm not even going to – no warnings there. I'm just going to go ahead and chunk that. Uh, all right. All right. So we are in Idaho Falls. Uh, a couple things. Let's see. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and – Let's give you guys a little look-see-say look outside here. 
So there it is. So we got uh, we've got Rudas, uh, uh, not Collider, his Kenworth Classic. Big updates fixed to come on this truck. So we've kind of got this thing decked out with all at least you have on this truck right now. It's going to have a ton of stuff. Yes, we will have this on the channel. Yes, we'll be driving this. Uh, we'll be doing building drives and all that other stuff. Uh, the Wilson that we actually have on back, we had done some with um, uh, with uh, Pingas. We've done his. We've done a few freebies. Uh, but this one is Bart's. We're going back to Bart's because uh, uh, um, I was actually just talking with him the other day. I was like, you know, I need to pull his cattle hauler again. Everybody's gotten into cattle haulers. Like, why don't you pull this and pull that? And I was like, you know what? I'll throw one out in the community. You guys seem to want to do some cattle hauling. So I was like, you know what? We'll do it. Um, and uh, at any rate, that's what we've got. So I've got links in the description for that. Um, and what's up, Black Sax? How are you, man? Good to see you, buddy. Um, and there it is. So there's the commands there. So if you guys want to... Uh, Y'all can uh, check this out. I even redid my little my little uh, sign blockage up there on the top, which is pretty awesome. So, anyway, yeah, go me. Uh, but that's it. That's pretty much it. Uh, everything else you got Great America description. So check it, um, and then we can. Uh, oh, is my? Oh, are you serious? Why is my track hour not gonna work? How oh, it's gonna make me do this? All right, we gotta have track hour with with single screen tonight. So. Let's uh let's restart things up. So what's up, Jay C? Good to see you, man, Bradley. Uh Outlook is good. <laughs> Without a doubt. Look at that, man. You got two solids. <laughs> very nice, very nice. <clears throat> All right, so let me restart this. I didn't get my uh I was kinda worried. I, I had it frozen. So it decided it was like, nah, let's go ahead and just get it. Let's get a good clean restart in there, so uh track hour for the most part is generally pretty good but i'll tell you what lately it doesn't last too long before you really need to shut it down shut it down oh yeah watch the game was that yeah dude yeah pingas pingas 389 dude has come an enormously long way i it's 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 night and day difference from where it started it was still good when it started uh but man it is like three times as good as it was um Let's see. There it is. Yeah, it's it's really good, man. Uh, modern day. What's up, man? I'm good, Kevin. How are you, buddy? Good to see you, man. Uh, and all these other guys here in Green Psycho. Good to see y'all. Thank y'all for coming in and hanging out, man. It's uh, always good. So we'll check out a little Great America tonight. We'll roll some we'll roll some cattle and try to find some different loads and stuff in and throughout here. <laughs> Fire suit. No. No, because y'all didn't read the thumbnail. It says Great America Map. Same one we were riding on before. Man, y'all y'all read y'all read the wrong things when you're not supposed to. I just kind of thought, hey, I'll just throw, you know, like, hey, we're, we're literally going, you know, cattle hauling through Wyoming. I didn't realize people think I would already have the DLC. <laughs> All right. Oh, what in the world? I was messing with the sounds. Yeah, th this will help. Sorry. Devious, what's up, man? All right, so let's go ahead and let's, uh, well, first off, we get this out of the way so I don't trip on that tonight. Uh, let's see if we can figure out where we're at here. Let's go ahead and see if we can pull something out of Idaho. Idaho. F oh, no. No, no. Is it going to do this to me again? Oh, please tell me. Oh, no. Oh, it does work in there. Okay. All right, so we might not be able to do Idaho Falls. I thought we sh for sure would be out there. Pocatello, where's it got? Uh, we got anything into there? <laughs> I don't want to go all the way to Storm Lake. Oh, my gosh. Oh, how does this always happen, chat? Every single time. I just want to pull something through here. Nope. Sorry, FTG. It's not going to happen today, bro. We're going to have to take a rain check on that, and you're going to have to go somewhere else today. I would love to do bison. I want to pull through Wyoming, but it's not wanting to let me do that. I guess because of farmage. 
Uh, could we go back? I know what it's wanting me to do. I'm trying to go from farm to farm because Bart set this up the legitimate way so you don't have a lot of loads. You don't have any loads besides these going to global mills, which is kind of scary. Uh, <laughs> None of these have come on. I should have. Oh, there we go. Hip, up, 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 up. Hey, 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 hey. There we go. Looks like we're going to Fort Collins. Fort Collins for some Holstein cows. Fort Collins up to Gillette, Wyoming. So, all right. Going to Fort Collins. Sweet. All right. What's up, Donovan? How are you, man? Brandon, what's up? Casey K, hello, hello. All right, so we got... Uh What? Yeah, Jason, it's not Texas Chrome Shop. It's John Rudis. What's up, Connor? How are you, man? I've got everything in, the, <clears throat> everything in the description for you guys. I'm doing good, man. Doing good, Connor. Uh, how do you get that live? Yeah, 1992. Yeah, check the description. Hit up Bart. Let him know you want it. Now, you can connect with him through his uh, through his site. He's got a good-looking site. Uh, so he has got, a, what, three trailers on it, and then he's got a reefer and a cattle livestock that he does want you guys to contact him through instead of just buying that off the site. Um, so if you want to, I think it's 18. Don't completely quote me on that, but I think this one's 18 and the reefer's like 22. Um, worth 18 if you like cattle haulers. Yeah, it's got a fairly decent amount of customization, but it is a cattle hauler after all. I mean, you know, it really, the amenities of this are pretty, pretty lax and pretty low. So... No problem, 92. Farm Island Cargo Mart. Well, there you go, man. This will be one for your. Uh, this will be one for your stuff. Pinga's has got a diesel one out. There's a freebie out as well. I don't know if it still works. I think the last time I had that was uh, 139. Um, I think it was the Meridian cattle hauler. Um, as for other mods, I know there's a really good one that Bart's brother's working on, SWC. He's working on some type of an animal hauler. I'm not sure what it is. It looks interesting. I've never seen anything like it for uh, for ATS, so I'll have, uh, hopefully, uh, a little bit more info for you on that one. So, Yeah, so the sound is Creech's now, but it is, it's been reworked. Uh, John Ruda had Creech do a bunch of basically kind of redesigns of his stuff uh, earlier. Hey man, devious too, man. Fifty dollar, appreciate. What? Well, where's the? Where's the alert in that? What in the world? Man, I did so much bragging about how this was great, and I uh, must have screwed some up. Devious too, man. Fifty dollar donation there, man. Uh, to the number one uh, ATS streamer around. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate that, buddy. Very much so, man. Um, so I think we got the Caterpillar engine in this one. So when he did, he kind of commissioned uh, Creech to make him. 
uh, a certain amount of mo a certain amount of sound mods here, basically based off his patch of sound banks, but they were still you know kind of custom to uh, John Ruda's trucks themselves. So that's kind of where that's kind of where these came from. So they're not completely the same, but they're very 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 close. So. I think it's hilarious y'all thought this was Texas Chrome. I still get me. Shows how much people pay attention. Just looking for a troll. Looking for a troll. Ashton, what's up, buddy? How are you, man? Yes, you know, actually, you know what? I don't have a lot of great things. I mean, of course, Cyrus is okay. I mean, he's he's done a lot of mods. Like, I mean, it's just been, you know, kind of just average run-of-the-mill stuff. Not really heavy in frames, not really much of anything, you know, like uh, huge, like, you know. <gasps> but actually, that cattle haul trailer was pretty good, man. It was pretty good. Uh, it's, it's, the, it's the only one that I've ever seen that you can do doubles. So you can do, like, full doubles on that one, which is really nice, actually. Which is really nice. Yeah, Binkers. And I'm driving y'all's favorite load right now, which seems to be hauling around a bunch of bull crap. This is the one where you haul two loads and you only get paid for one. <laughs> okay, alright. All right. I don't know how we missed that. That was pretty close. I think ATS has been messing with the force feedback. My force feedback changed about a week ago. But uh, engine, we're still we're using the cat. This is the 550 straight pipes. Uh, this is from Creech. Uh, but it's uh, been modified for this truck, so you won't find this exact engine. You won't find this one in. You won't find. I don't think you'll find this one in his like Creech's engine pack. I think it's cus it's customary for just this truck as it is. So, Robson, what's up, man? Doing good, man. Can't smell it from Canada. I know, right? It was like I just want to pull the stinkiest dude on the man. The old man's good to see some new names in here, man. Hope y'all are doing well to the live stream. Yeah, and it works too, John. You know, go figure. Go figure. I think ATS has also, they've also relaxed their parking rules. You can just about get anything to trigger in here now. <laughs> hey, what's up, Joe? No worries, man. Yes. We haven't ridden uh, straight pipes in quite a while, but yeah, here we is. Got an interesting burnt orange look to this truck. I'll show you the, actually, let me pause track IR here, and then I'll show you the interior for those that may not have ever seen this one. So, yeah, okay, and actually, they'll be in there too. Um, it's a nice, uh, the Polish truck driver there, for anybody that has the Sissel pack. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know her. She's the, uh, YouTuber. Uh, magazines on the floor. We got the red interior on this thing. It's got the, the buttoned, uh, upholstered uh, red on there. And I love, he's got a couple different wood grains in this, but I love the floor in this one. And uh, and this wheel and uh, dash combo is my favorite. Uh, I hope, you know, I need to keep up with his update a little bit, but I would love to, I wish these guys, especially these Kenworths, would do these inserts and allow you to do different stuff with them. Um, kind of like what Dom's doing 379, but like maybe do like an offer to paint one, you know, um, do like a brushed aluminum or brushed chrome one, you know, just something to kind of set that interior part off, you know, I thought it might, it might be cool. Anyway, yeah, floor's, floor's good, man. Yeah, I mean, John's good, man. John, John's kind of like the original OG modder, you know, him and Bart, let's see, I think him and Bart and KI were the very first three guys on the payware scene with Pinga and Really, we worked with all three or four of those guys. Um, kind of helped, you know, put them on the map and get the mods out there into, um, you know, until YouTube land. Um, and uh, they've been really great friends of the channel, man. I really uh, have a lot of my own success to, you know, to give those guys just for providing good, fresh content, especially there at the beginning of all that. So um it's good man to see these guys and seeing their mods still standing up you know the, the quote-unquote test of time 
Uh, there's very few modders out there if you think about it. Look at all the pictures you see on Facebook and all the guys trying to throw a truck or trailer up in your face because that essentially is what it is. Um, everybody's out there jockeying for the most likes just for a imaginary truck picture, you know, that's not getting them anything. But needless to say, some of these guys are selling stuff and how many of those mods do you keep seeing coming back all the time? And those mods are constantly Bart's. KI's got a lot of good stuff, especially his trailers and stuff that he originally did early on. Um, and then uh, Subart and then Rudis and Pingus. Really, those those four guys alone have a lot of repeat work still coming out. Still those mods that they've had out for quite some time are still doing really, really, really well. So It's cool to see. It's cool to see. Uh, I don't know, Ben. You know, if, if I had my guess, this is just based on uh, SES's timeline of multiple so we're not really probably going to see anything I wouldn't think until in, end of summer for Wyoming we know Texas too not Texas we knew that Texas was not going to be out at least for another year and that was you know so it was December of last year not 2020 but 2019 that was when we found out about Iberia. So we're almost a year and four months into the making before they actually released Iberia. Texas will be no different. They said don't expect it until uh, 2022, which would more than likely be a full entire year, if not a few more months, depending on if they try to uh, update and change the entire engine of the game and add something in dynamic physics or something that changes the entire behavior of the system like the lighting update did. Um, so, you know, that's just something to kind of, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if that doesn't happen. So, well, we'll run the Jake break. We'll run it some. I usually typically like to run that on the downhill or when we're slowing down for something. So, just a deep throaty. It's not a, not a ridiculously fancy one. These were kind of the early days of F mod, so I think they probably could stand to have a little bit of rework on these anyway. But yeah, y'all, y'all don't, y'all don't read, y'all don't read. Well, thumbnail has Great America Map all at the top corner, so this is not Wyoming DLC. I'm not, you know, Wyoming is in the Great America Map, so that's why we're still pulling cattle through Wyoming, but it's it's not the SES Wyoming. I tried to make that very clear in the thumbnail by putting Great America Map, but nobody saw it. Sorry. Thank you there, Zane. Appreciate it, man. Eh, I think we'll go ahead and go. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, baby. Oh, hello. Up. Um, yeah, Bingers, I don't know what's up with the paint. I'll have to see what he's doing. Um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see. I'll see what's up because, I mean, it's weird. I don't know that paint-wise there's anything wrong with it. Um, I do know, I forgot to do this, the mud flat ones don't work either. And I'm not sure if he did something on this update to 140. Uh, he may have changed the truck chassis name or something, but I'll I'll check it out. What's up, Phantoms? I didn't even think of on skin on that, which is terrible. I was trying to go with a classic, you know, kind of cattle hauler skin on it. So it's all right, Jeff. It's pretty good. It still it still could use a little massaging here and there. Uh, but yeah, overall, man, it's just, it's a good. Thing. It's probably one of the better ones. I mean, I I love the M14. You know, everybody wants me to ride in that one, but I. You know, I like change, man. I like I like showcasing a little something different.
We are headed to Wyoming, Jeff, in the Great America map. <laughs> uh, we are headed to Gillette, Gillette, Wyoming. So we'll basically get to do a south to north cut straight through the middle of it. So it should be fun. Should be. So there's the uh, there's the the load and, and the cool thing is uh, he does a pretty good job uh, whatever load you're picking we have the Holstein cows in here which is the black and white ones but he has the Jersey cows um, so every single animal like the way it looks in the load is the way it looks in the trailer so I think that's kind of cool everything plays matchy matchy which is good got some nice uh, axle configurations some bumper configurations mud flap configurations. Um, and then he's got the full winter covers, midwinter, no winter, then you can just have it completely open like I am, so whichever ones. You probably, Phantoms is probably the light kit. Um, if you have this trailer, um, there we go. There's the sign, don't miss it, don't blink. Forever West. Um, make sure you get the updated light pack from him. That was in his Facebook group. It should be 1.2. So he's got a brand new update for that 1.2. That's probably what's crashed in the game. The trailer's been the same since like forever. Um, it is a mod, yes. Actually, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all right, Nick. It's always good, man, to see familiar faces come back around, dude. We do, uh, we do Chandler. We we typically do um, that whenever they're updated. Um, so we'll do ETS on Friday nights, and we'll do, um, typically we'll do, um, we'll do ETS on Fridays, and then we'll do a big truck convoy on Saturdays. Usually, we had been averaging anywhere from 75 to 100 trucks on Saturday night, and somewhere between 25 to 35 on ETS nights on Friday night. So, and that's typically the only night that I do them, just because I need other content besides Truckers MP. If we do it too much, it just I, I get burned out. I can't. There's only so much of the default trucks I can take. So we are hauling cattle. Yes, we are. Cardinals fan ninety. What's up, buddy? How the clock cattle hauler? Yeah, I don't know, Travis. <laughs> I just put my seat to the floor. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I I forgot. I, I need to. We need to adjust the seat in here. I forgot. Somehow or another, people people think this makes you a cattle hauler if you put your seat in the floor. I'm not I'm not sure where that comes from. Is there a particular reason why we would want to do that? I'm just curious. Or is that just like a flex thing? How about that? That good enough for you? Devron, what's going on? But a rate with some Chevron. Yeah, well, we haven't done anything with TMP now. They did up for, for guys that have no idea and have literally been living under a rock and also not reading the thumbnails. Uh, looking at the end of April for a potential TMP update if they don't run into huge issues. So, yeah. That's what they say. Oh, it does, it does. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hello there, Cardinal fan. Thank you there, buddy. I should have seen those big, uh, those big caution. Uh, yeah, should have seen that. My man. Thank you there for the tip, man. Just the tip. Uh, uh, Ronald, I think, um, I think this one's 20. Ooh, this one's, two, this one's 30. The Kenworth's 30. And fix it get a huge update. Um, it is going to be worth about two or three trucks by the time he's done with it. It's going to be good. 
So yeah, Baden, I do if you, in my Discord if you go to FTG Paint Jobs. Uh, I have a uh, United Logistics Master Pack that has like, I don't know, eight or nine trucks in there. Um, and then I'm working on putting a payware pack, but I was trying to wait for 140, and I'm glad I did because I've got some issues here out of route as I might have to figure out and go back and fix um, and recreate that mod. But anyway, yeah, so um, I've got a couple things in there like my racing trailers and Ruta's 3D9, and I've got some other skins for stuff. Just scroll up through there, and anything you see, it's all downloadable and free in that in that channel. Oh, yeah, GK Uncharted, what's up, man? Yeah, no problem. Happy birthday, Cardinals. My early birthday. Oh, it's a coolness thing. That's what I figured, man. That's how I figured. It's a cool thing. Um, I can do a heavy all. I'm actually waiting on Pinga's. Um, we well, actually did some heavy alls in the last uh, last stream. We did some with the uh, the SES default low boy. Uh, we did some with that. Look at that. That front side. That's nice. Very nice. I, li I like. I like. I don't mind the combo. I just. I kind of hate the way people latch onto a certain trailer. Like, I don't know. It's weird. I couldn't have paid people to come watch me pull a cattle hauler like six months ago. Yes, Eddie, I do, and that's his name. I don't know what else to call him. That's his name. That's what he goes by. I mean, I, I don't know what else I'm supposed to call him. Uh, that's his name. That's the name of his self phone store. I mean, if I gave a different name, people would be like, I can't find that. I'd be like, well, it's because you didn't look hard enough. An American slang term for a male reproductive organ that starts with a P. That's what it means. Hey, Z Bullet, what's up, man? Yeah, was, that, was that clear enough? <laughs> what's up, Andrew? Good. It depends on when Wyoming. If Wyoming's like not slated to come out for a while, then yeah, they won't care. They won't care. Yeah, be not. You know, I try to keep y'all in the dark about certain things. <laughs> There's certain things that you know, even chat just shouldn't know about. <laughs> I, I, you know, Eddie, I'm like, I don't get it, man. I'm not sure why your name is that. I mean, surely he knows because he's Brazilian, so. So, you know, I, I know I'm like, yeah, that, that's got to translate in Portuguese, too. So, Timbo, what's up, my friend? A flying buddy. Y'all may see uh, me and Timbo piloting and co-piloting some aircraft in the next coming weeks. Not that uh, not that y'all will watch or read the title or anything, but, you know, maybe I can say we're flying through Wyoming and y'all will show up. Oh, you know what? It's fun. If y'all get to roast me with the eight ball, I get to roast y'all sometimes with some of the things that y'all do. I think this is very healthy. It's a good healthy streamer chat relationship we got going on here. <laughs> hey, me and Timbo are flying through Wyoming. Everybody goes, oh my God, FTG's got early access. Woo! <laughs> No salt, no salt. Just payback. That's all it is, man. Uh, what do you mean, truckers? What do you mean, like, like uh, vlog truckers, Eddie? Not really. No. Nope. I just... I tried back in the day when I first started this. I tried to, but I just found that it was kind of like not a lot really changes. You know, and... Um, Unless the guy is really good and very entertaining to like really keep you like engaged, I'm just, I just, I totally would just blank out after like five minutes. I'm like, okay, I ain't doing something else. And I typically go back to my, my, typically go back to my flight sim stuff. So it is money man. It is a great America map. So we got, oh my god, excuse me, we got all three trifecta in there today. So links are in the description. You guys can also. Uh, if you guys want to check out the commands, I've got lists for all of our stuff. So sounds creech. I've got Z mods in there. So if you guys see anything in the commands you guys want to link for, throw it up in chat. Oh snap! There was a train above us. Wow, that sounded really nice. 
Um, look at this, man. What city we pulling into here? Hang on a second. I'll finish that thought. Ah, oh, Casper. It's uh, Ruda. Yeah, so it's the Facebook uh, by John Ruda. That's the truck mod. And you just need to send him a message and tell him that you're interested in the uh, Kenworth and he'll shoot you the details. Facebook's always a little different than like, you know, your cell phone stores and like actual internet stores. It's a little different. The friendly City, is that because of the ghost? Friendly ghost. Oh, there's a car there. Oh, we need to start up our uh, truck to limb. We didn't start up our uh, truck to limb tree. Uh, Gabriel. That I don't know. Um, I know it works with Reforma. Uh, I do not think it works with MHA Pro. Uh, Pro mods, yes, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm not sure about Coast Coast. I, I, don't, I don't think it does. Oh, my gosh. Okay, whoa. Hello. Oh, God. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. You know, we used to do that, and then when I did that, people got bored because I had to drive so slow. People want to see me do 65 or 70, which is odd. No stopping here, Binks. Straight and narrow is the path, my friend. I think uh, if you inside of his, if you decide to want to do this map, it is a Patreon for this map. It's worth it. It's a very small donation to kind of keep things going on, you know, keep work going. Uh, he's nearing, we're kind of nearing the completion of Kansas to get that on the map. So uh, it's kind of like we did with, uh, I was telling the guys when we first started running this map the other day, um, it's basically like uh, it was when we did the, the Team Reformer stuff before they put this last free update up when you did Chihuahua. Basically, everything in the map was like a beta version of it. So, um, you know, essentially you could, you know, pay the 6 or $12, and that was basically like a look at it as like donation wear. And then they keep sending you know, all the new betas and all the new releases of the map as they were working on it and stuff. So it's kind of the same idea. Um, you get certain levels of access from Patreon and some other stuff that he's working on on the side as well. So it's not just, you know, just for the map and say in six months you'll get a re-up version on it. It's pretty quick working through this map himself. So I think he said Can uh, Kansas was his next one that he's uh, that he's running down. So. What's up, Top Notch? How are you, man? Well, hey, Mopar82 Gaming. Mopar82, is 82 a special year? I didn't mean to change lanes, Del Toro milkshake cows, yes. Um, Tashinka, so I don't know where Tom's stuff is anymore. I know there for a while Tom had some things out. Um, the last I really knew about Tom is he put a lot of his mods back up and got mad. But I, I don't I don't know if he since re-released those. If they used to be on the forums, but I think they've been moved off there. Wait. Wait, what? Wait, wait. Pete or Kenworth. Hang on. See, see that steering wheel right there? <laughs> uh, yes, it's Kenworth. Uh, Dustin, yes. Um, I think they're doing a little bit of a reface on Cali. Uh, I don't think Nevada is coming up anytime soon. But yes, uh, they are planning on, I believe, now don't don't completely quote me on this, but I think they're planning on starting in the NorCal region and working their way down. So we'll see. I kinda, I'm kind of curious to see, are they really gonna be able to do that? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, so I, I would really like for them to do maps. <sighs> 
I don't know, man. Like, it's, uh, we talked about this with Iberia. Uh, we, I don't know if you guys watched that. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys. You need to go watch the Iberia map uh, release that we did um, a couple days ago. Me and basically the leaders of this Discord, the moderators, the guys that you guys hear on Fridays and Saturdays at the Convoys all got together, drove Iberia. We all did it separately, but we just talked you know, kind of almost like podcast style about SES, about trucking, about just the gaming industry in general, our expectations, what we want to see out of certain things. And a lot of that stuff applies for, for ATS as well. And I think, I mean, if you guys just get past the whole, like, oh, it's a Euro truck, it's not hauling bullcrap, you know, I just can't do it, man. Uh, like, get past that part and go in it and check out the map. Listen to us talk, because we really talked a bunch about ATS stuff. Um, just because it applies so generously to, um, you know, what we're talking about here with ETS. And we kind of brought up a few different points about mapping and whether or not you bring out more maps and do you do more, you know, uh, accessory packs. Do you pull out this, you pull out that? Because there's a healthy part of the community that wants to see more maps, of course, so that we're not waiting 35 years down the road to see New York done or Florida done, depending on which one they get to last. Um, and, or Maine, sorry, not New York. Uh, and then the, the question of like, if it is gonna be 10 or so years by the time they get the rest of the states done, is that actually in their game plan? Or are they just gonna roll it until they stop, move on to the next thing? Or are we gonna see more trucks? Are we gonna see more accessory packs? Or are we gonna see some of those things start coming out for ATS to kind of bridge those gaps while we wait on these six, seven, eight month uh, maps, you know, to come out, uh, which will be interesting. So I don't know, and for those of the guys that um, that like that kind of intuitive conversation between guys, especially talking about something that we all obviously are interested in, go check that video out, man. I, I think you guys would enjoy it. Um, we do a lot of talking about Iberia because it's just incredible. Um, but we also do a lot of just discussing about just sim in general, uh, truck sim. So I think you guys would enjoy it, so. Oh, uh, look at even the eight ball was sticking up for us. We'll still send this ETS to suck. It's like leaning towards no. <laughs> oh, that's good, man. That's good. <clears throat> like steering is a little sensitive today. Well, now they do have the 990 mod, Nathan. This is not an official SES. It's a free one, too. <clears throat> it cannot go on Android. <laughs> He play way more ETS. I know a couple of guys that started out staunch ATS, and then after they got an ETS like a week or two, they were like, ah. It was like hundreds of thousands of kilometers later. Still driving. <laughs> you need D2 computers to play. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, it, it's it's interesting concepts to kind of think and talk through. So, um, I, I enjoyed the conversation. It was really, it was actually really, really good. All right, Gillette, Wyoming, here we come. So we are. <clears throat> we'll see if we can pull something right out of here. We had been looking at North Dakota. No, sorry, not North, South Dakota. Uh, we had been looking at that one here in our last um, uh, video. I love it when 8-Ball actually uh, you know, says yes. <laughs> Fully active. Uh, do they have a bear? You can get them, Eddie, but it's... Eh. It's just not the same, you know? Like, you can pretty much all of the ATS freebies, you can drive most of all of them in ETS. Um, and I don't know, man, it's just different. I, it, it doesn't feel right, to be quite honest with you. It just doesn't feel right. It's like it's like if I gave you a Scania and said, hey, would you drive that through, you know, like Idaho? It'd be like, it just feels weird. It doesn't feel right. <laughs> 
Hulk Hulk, what's up? You start with 18 wheels of steel? Yeah, there's a... Uh, tell you what, there's a lot of people started with that game. And it, I guess been with it, been with ATS and the like ever since. So, it's pretty cool. Thank you there, Hog. Appreciate the sub, man. All right, so this is uh, this is one of their tougher pull-ins here. Let's see what we can work. Work a little magic down here. Yeah, see, there's that light up there. All right. Oh, I do remember this one. Uh, okay, hang on. We're going to have to do that again. I don't go too far because I think this thing drops off, I think. I think it's got a cooldown, Wolf. I think it's got a cooldown, so you can't just like constantly spam. Uh, so you can't like constantly can't spam, you know, like stuff in there. So I think that's why it does that. So, what's up, Jay Allen? Yes, sir, man. <laughs> that's what. She, never mind. Oh, we did do Kadoka. Kadoka, South Dakota. <laughs> oh, actually, is that Dakota? Oh, it's almost, man. Dakota. We're only missing one day, so it's actually Kadoka is almost Dakota spelled a different way. How about that? Gray Bull, Wyoming, everybody. Let's go down to Gray Bull, take some bison down there. Got me a load of fillers down in Kanoka, South Dakota. Uh, where you guys want to go? We got uh, Phillip, South Dakota, uh, which is fine by me. We've also got Grable, which is not really a long ride at all. Um, but it keeps us in Wyoming, you know. So everybody thinks that's where we're, we're rocking. Uh, what do you guys want to see? Throw it up in the Let's Beef, it's what's for dinner. How about bison burgers? Everybody likes the BBs in there? It's nice. Hosses. <laughs> what is the eight ball? 
<laughs> so hog basically the um basically the eight ball is just this it's this fun interactive like uh it's this funny so basically the eight ball is if it, you know you remember like the old eight balls you would shake it up and there'd be like this little triangle rotate and it would come to the top you'd ask it a question shake it up and then you'd flip it over and then the little answer would rise the same thing so you ask it just a question a yes or no question and then it, it'll come back with uh it'll it'll haul it'll it'll uh, come back with something so so but i mean it's it's just a it's just a funny thing to kind of keep some uh, some very slight humor because it's you can still roast people without actually directly roasting them so you can get away with not getting banned if you use the eight ball to do it just ask Joselito. he's he survived two streams with it going so kyler uh once he gets the pay where stuff out then he's going to do the 900 yes sir that's the that's the one. So, all right. So I've got some guys saying Grable and Eight Ball says Bison. Uh, we got Hog says it. All right. So we got some new guys here says also Bison down to Grable, Wyoming. So Bison to Grable it is. Hundred seventy five miles to the west. FTG tracks on a journey to hauling Bison. That was my best Gold Rush lead off voice I could get. 175 miles down in the sticks of Wyoming, FTG takes his Kenworth cattle pot trailer to pick up a load of bison. Meanwhile, down on Scribner's Creek, Parker and the boys are cleaning the cache. All right. Let's see where we got a back end to get this thing. It'll probably send us right back to where we were before. Uncharted, it is in the description. Uh, this is Mr. John Ruda's Kenworth. Whereas some people early came in hoping that they could troll the stream, thought I was driving Texas Grill truck. I was like, y'all really ain't watching the stream, are you? <laughs> I just wanted to come in and throw a troll comment because I thought it would be cool. But I put LOLs at the end so people would laugh with me and not at me. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> the GPS voice. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Well, it would be kind of cool to do a personalized one, you know. That way, in the FTG at 50 miles, you're going to want to take a ride. <laughs> uh. Well, if that's a slight comment, Hog, no, I don't, I don't agree with your premise on that. Compared to, this is a part-time for fun thing that I do, and uh, it's about the community and about not virtually driving a truck, trying to pretend it's a job. I kind of hate when people come to my stream and say that, because I have the mo most utmost, most utmost respect for truckers. And it's amazing if I was flying a truck in a sim, flying an Airbus A320 like the pros would. Nobody comes in there saying, yeah, well, you just couldn't make it as a pilot there, reject. So I guess you come in there to do it virtually. But evidently, the trucking is okay because, you know, everybody can drive a truck. So to drive it virtually means that somehow or another you're less than those around you. It just doesn't make sense. It's just such a petty comment. Sorry, I just felt like I needed to say that. Man, this guy knows how to drive an A320. He must be smart. Fazel Khan, man, it has been a long time, man. How are you, buddy? That's all right, Freightliner. There'll be enough others that do. It's fine. I just elect to, you know, concentrate on content creation as a second source of income for me and the fam, and and then I can do this, I can fly, and I can do any of the rest of it, and you know, make some money from it, and actually get. This. I like all this greenery, even though it's kind of bland. It's still kind of nice. The vegetation is very pretty. Hey, man, we stop and pick these bad boys up. What we got? We got bison over there. Look at that. <laughs> 
Hey, wait a minute. Oh my god, someone forgot to shut the trailer. Oh, we're good. Okay. Alright. Let's check it. I just check it. It takes a little more to make me upset, man. It's fine. Let's see, we're actually westbound and down, but I'll take that. Thank you, they're top notch. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. <laughs> Thank you there for the 20 top notch trucking. Hey, did the alert come up? I, I totally didn't miss it if it did. Did it come up? If it did. Get a picture? I, I, I guess. Uh, we might have missed our opportunity for a good mountain. A good hill in the back. Uh, look at my panoramics here. I did? Okay, cool. All right. Ah, ah, ah. Hang on a minute. It's where it's too curvy to be doing driving backwards there. Scott. Scott. Like what? What? Did you get early access? <laughs> uh, oh, favorite truck. That's a good one. I don't really have one. I know that's like a such a cheap answer, but I really don't. I really don't. Trucker dude, what's up? Uh, I believe it said, yeah, once you buy them, they just send you the links, you download them up. Yep. No, no, this is a great American map. The, so, and I didn't really think to do this on purpose. I really didn't. I just figured since we've already done a great American map stream that, you know, people would automatically assume that we're just going to do that again. Um, yeah. So, so basically it's a great American map. Well, that was not the best place to stop. It's Great America map, um, and um, and so we're actually we're actually hauling cattle through Wyoming. It's just on the Great America map, N not on theirs, because you know they'll stream it for like three weeks before they give it to the YouTubers. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's how they work now. Here's some, here's some streaming content to capitalize on. I better I better not roast them. Who am I kidding? It's like three in the morning. They're not watching me. I, I I didn't mean I didn't mean to do it. It just everyone kind of was like, "Oh my God, you got access!" I was like, "Access to what?" I was like, "Oh my God!" But in the thumbnail, I do have the big big letters at the top right. It says "The Great America Map." <laughs> so I do have an out because yeah. Hey, trucker dude, thank you there, man. I think that sponsor means second month sponsor. So thank you there, man. Appreciate that, buddy. How are you, bud? Hope you're doing well. Uh, we got to scooch over. Come on, come on, come on, navigator. Let's go. Okay, all right. Come in front. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. I don't think that. Uh, I don't think that one did either, man. Um, I tried to redo my alerts, and evidently I went too far with that. So I will have to fix that. So double shout out to you guys. Thank y'all. I was trying to change all my colors so y'all could have manly colors, you know, for your stuff instead of pink. The way it shot the pink out. I'm not sure why how pink wound up on the stream, but at any rate, I'll get that fixed ASAP. So. Oh, look, Streamlabs decides to work now. Where did Streamlabs come from? Where you been? In the world. Too many bots, man. Too many bot messages. I don't need to know. It'd be nice if Streamlabs would work when you need it to. And that, that would be, whoo, son, I'll tell you right there, that'd be something to celebrate over. Oh, we are going this way. And we're coming in hot because I've turned my brake sensitivity down, so just enough. Just enough. <laughs> it said doubtful. 
Oh, man. That's classic there, man. Even 8-Ball knows what's up. Hey, what's up, COVID? There's the man of the hour right there. So, Mr. S uh, I believe it's Sirad. Sirad COVID. I'm, I'm going to say that, but it's probably not. Um, he is uh, in daily with this map. So, he's been working on Great America uh, for quite some time. So, he's in the live stream. So, appreciate you coming again and hanging out with us, Mr. COVID. Appreciate it, man. So, I've got links to his stuff in there as well. Uh, so y'all can check out his stuff. Um, I've got his map uh, location there. So if you guys want to go to sport uh, Patreon uh, with him, he's uh, taking it to the Patreon service anyway, which it's still a fair, it's still a pretty good fair deal because uh, you're essentially getting all the updated map stuff. And he's got a few other little perks and some other things mixed in there. So if you want to uh, have a little more for your screenshots on Facebook, or whatever that maybe say uh, some of the other guys necessarily won't have. Um, pretty good little, uh, it's, it's, it's just, a, and it's a small amount too. It's not anything huge, crazy. Uh, and then you get all the new reiterations of Great America as it comes out. And uh, also, you know, of course, all the updates and, as your viewer is supported and whatnot. So, um, so yeah, it's good. So go check it out if you want to. Uh, enjoy some Great America. It does work with uh, the Reforma maps, the Viva Mexico. Uh, someone had asked earlier, and I didn't tell them because uh, I didn't know, is this one compatible with Coast to Coast or are they going to override one another? I'm just curious. Uh, Travis, yeah, most of the time I watch them. Um, so how do you get mods into ATS? So more power, I've got a, a video. There's a lot of videos on like how to download mods. The workshop puts them into a mod manager, and then you go to the mod manager inside the game and actually arrange them. Um, if you download mods, I would suggest that if, uh, if Joselito or uh, one of the other mods, if those are, if you guys are in here, um, if you wouldn't mind finding the, um, uh, if you wouldn't mind finding the, the 101 video, the modding 101, like, uh, <sighs> virus free mods, that's a good video. And then the stacking mods too. Those two would be good ones for you to check out. Uh, there you go. See, it's not compatible with Coast Coast. I didn't think it was. I just didn't want to open my mouth and say that it was or what. And then, you know, Josh, what's up? Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind Talladega. It's all right. Roleplay. Thank you there. Two dollars there for Mr. Roleplay at Line DOJ. What wheel play? So this is the Fanatec wheel. Um, it's uh, um, and I've got the NASCAR Fanatec wheel on it with the button configuration. Um, Yeah. So it's the Fanatec Club Sport uh, 2.5. So that's what uh, that's what that's what we're playing with today. Oh, I didn't even see this come up. Oh, I didn't even see it come up. Ha! My bad, guys. I normally do a little better than that. Oh man, look at this. Coach gonna take all the people across here. <laughs> oh yeah, all right. What's up, Luke? How are you, man? Ah, oh, no, Matt. I know. I, I typically don't like doing that. Then people come back in and comment how bad of a driver I am. Like, what? It's like obviously you guys have never seen, absolutely never seen a Facebook screen. I saw now where the newest and latest and greatest thing on the Facebook stream is, come watch me drive wreck free, finally. Like, what? <laughs> That's like the streamers on Twitch going, I'm going live just chatting with my clothes on. Uh, Ozelito will find that one funny. I was just waiting on it. I've been working on Ozelito. I was just waiting for a time to drop out, drop out hammer, bro. <laughs> Logan Bailey, thank you, man. Love streams. Thank you, man. Appreciate you, bud. Yeah, they're, they're the worst on purpose, man. They know what's up. They know what's up. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, I'm just anxious to see that bus uh, go flying across and bump some people on in it. <laughs> truck and engine, uh, round eyes. So the truck is uh, John Rudis uh, Kenworth. Uh, absolutely gorgeous truck, of course. Um, one that we featured on this channel quite some uh, quite a bit. Um, and you can the sound does come with this. So he had Creech Bomb come in and work some sounds for his truck that are uh, compliant to his truck. So Creech's sound packs and Robin Icus's and all these other packs don't work with his truck uh, unless they have worked with John Rudy to get the names of the files so they can make their engines compatible with it. There are a few like um, the N14 Lopes, and I think they're compatible with them. And I think the N14 is compatible with this truck. I just don't personally have it in today. Uh, but we're driving the 550 straight piped uh, Caterpillar engine is what we've got on tap today for the truck. So no problem role playing. And thank you for the five, man. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. But sometimes the stuff gets, uh, sometimes chats get lost in there, especially with all these doggone bot messages now. Streamlabs decided they finally wanted to pick up, do a little bit of work. Must get low on cash funds. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where was my... Did I miss it? Oh, it's kind of like... Oh, okay, the... Okay. It's a little bit off the road. It was getting dark here. Let's let this bus by. This guy's starting to scare me. It got dark quick, didn't it? Wish we had some interior lights up in here. Oh, by the way, I do have, uh, I forgot to tell you, I do have uh, underglow on this one. <laughs> Look at there, man. Oh, Scott. Oh. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> like, how y'all sit in this water for 12 hours a day, man? I would come out looking like a scaly clammed up fish. <laughs> like my question is how they get all that sharpie off their arms. It just blows my mind. Alright. I think I'm supposed to hop hop across here. L just a little disconnect here on the, the road right there. What is uh There we go. Uh, two different? No, no, no. It's uh, so you got all the you got all the orange lights from the trailer and then red. And you can do a different colors. He's got blue, green, yellow, white, whatever. Okay. All right, we'll cut the Yui here. Oh, shoot. We might we might have lodged that one. There we go. Man, I wouldn't I didn't wouldn't even plan I wouldn't even plan it on those stairs being there. <laughs> Sorry. This one's a little tighter than the last one. I don't I don't think I uh No, I'll get out so clean on this one. Yeah, what stairs send those stairs there? Oh, I know what it is. We got this sunshine crop trailer right here. Uh, all right. Well, what's a jackknife trailer? It's a game, right? <laughs> I love it. Answer is hungry hours. So like, just precise. Like, did anybody see him hit those stairs? He's like, I think so. If they weren't, then they really need to pay attention a little more. Maybe maybe pay more attention than... Never mind, I'll keep my mouth shut. God, you're killing me, man. <laughs> killing me. Killing me, Smalls!
where else would a livestock a livestock trailer be? Like I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not you know like poking fun or anything. I'm just curious like where else would uh, where else would would thanks so, yeah. I can tell you this is not a happy farm for the bisons to go to. Tell you what, I don't I don't know if it's a, I have not driven. Uh, I don't know something about the underglow just ain't doing it for me tonight. Uh, you know what it is? I don't know if it's the Kenworth or if it's the center gravity on this trailer, not the trailer, but the truck. I just feel like the turn is weird in reverse. That's odd. Pretty bit odd. Yeah, now we know a boss is lying there. It's straight up lay out of line. I am using uh, track hour, yes. And if you say away, would you recommend it? Absolutely. Because track hour, of course now Toby the Toby eye tracker thing works. I've just never had any luck I not luck with it, but I've never done anything with it. So I can't really give you like a yeah, buy this over that. I've I've never had track uh the Toby, so I have no idea. Uh, yes, Cash Shadow Walker's got one. Well, we got uh, actually a lot of videos with um, we got a lot of videos with those uh, with uh, his Mac F700. Let's uh, let's shoot for a 6:30 time slot. Wow, it's bright in Wyoming at 6:30. Let's try five o'clock, and let's see. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. All right. Um. Let's see if we have something out of Grey Bull. Um, yay, I'm loving all these. We finally got some some stuff now. So Gillette's got them. Um, all right, so. Trying to think. We got about an hour 20 uh, is what we're at stream right now. So I was trying to think uh if we pull out of here we also we could do some uh takes is that nice gillette that's we've already been there tonight uh white river oh i did the wrong one now we could go on into south dakota now all right so coven where is um what's up stone cold where is the yellowstone in here right there okay <laughs> never mind i feel dumb now is this the area you're talking about, Yellowstone? I think it is. Uh, not yet, Echo. Uh, hopefully, as soon as he does, or maybe even maybe before, we'll uh, we might get some access to that. That'd be really nice. So I don't know if Jackson has. Yeah, Jackson doesn't have cattle there. All right, I tell you what, we're gonna do. Um, we're going to go see Yellowstone, but we'll just dev console real slow through the area and check it out. That way guys on stream here can check that out since you say that it's really good. And then I'll flip back here to Grey Bull and we'll haul out of here and head on over. And we'll do one more load down to White River, South Dakota. We'll take a load of fiddlies down there uh, and see what's happening. Um, and so you'll get to see, well, we got quite a bit down there. So yeah. Coolio. All right. So let's uh, let's do that. I'll set that and let's go. Uh, what was that one, Jackson? Let's go to Jackson, Wyoming, and then we'll uh, we'll dev up through uh, Yellowstone. How about that? All right. Make sure I go the right way. All right. I maybe give ourselves another hour. All right, so this is where we, uh, Dubois. Is that right? Is it Dubois? You know what? How far is this? Let's just drive it. We ain't got, we ain't got nowhere to be. Let's just drive it. Why not? All right, here we go. Let's enjoy some Yellowstone.
No campfires, no burning it down. Only you can prevent the forest to fires. If we don't actually pay the toll, they can let us go, then tell us we can't do it. Tyler, what's up, man? Hey, thank you there. Thank you there, role play. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, what is this? It's, uh, man, it's, it's. All right, hang on a minute. I'm going to check something out real quick. Don't anybody go anywhere. Where? Oh, ho, 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 ho. well, I feel dumb. All right, so. There it is. Yeah, some odd reason it was way up there. Okay. Thank you, man. Appreciate that role play. Thank you, man. Thanks for there for the five, for the two and the two. There it is. Thank you, man. Keep up the good work. Certainly will, man. Appreciate it, guys. I evidently I'd slid my alert thing way up on top of the uh, the the pallet there, and I didn't even know. So, whoops. Ah, oh, I like the tree uh, tree resource there. It's a good looking tree. See what our air quality index is. Fire danger is in the blue. Everybody's good. Oh. Ah. <laughs> ah. Uh -huh. Now, you, what you really need to do is add collisions to those deers. That's what you need to do. Because you want to see a fun, and we can see how many speed runs we can do through Yellowstone. See how many times we can spin, spin, uh, speed run through there without hitting the deer. I felt for certain they probably would have. That's why I slammed on the brakes. I was like, ah, the, these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, funny. Jackson Lake. Do not swim. I wonder why. It's pretty. I wonder why we should not swim. Martin, what's up? Oh, come on. At least I'm driving the bulls. Y'all, I don't even really like these things. I do this for y'all. I pull the cattle pot straight for y'all, guys. Like it? I like the road. Road's interesting. Very nice. Somebody lost it right there. Was a little quaint little lighthouse on the end, the Lewis Lake there, like a decorative thing, you know. It's 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 not really has like a, a major like uh, uh, functional flow to it, you know what I'm saying? All right. Here's the main uh, Yellowstone area up here. We need to do some logging in there, man. That's what we need to do. We need to do a little logging in here next time. Get us a proper uh, proper truck. I guess proper truck, get some logs behind that sucker. I think Pink had done a, done a trailer pair we need to. Uh, we need to get his log trailer out if it's uh, workable. I think there's one on the... Um, oh, I like the rocks there. That's good. Um, what was the What was the one? It was the... God, what was the brand? Oh, uh, there was a... There was a brand on there. Um, anyway, it was on the Steam Workshop. It was a freebie. Ooh, I like that. 
Very nice. Color choice for the river, I mean the lake over there. Guess that's blue catching the runoff from the ice caps on the mountains. Very nice, man. I like this. It's a good, good little drive, man. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that one, Hog. Ah, yeah. There's only a couple, man. And, I mean, there's there's a couple there. I won't say they're good or bad. I mean, it's a log trailer. I mean, you know, what can you do with it? I mean, if you haul logs with it. That's about it, you know. Hello, what's up, Harsh? How are you, man? Oh, yeah, no, Miss No Man. I can see you. Not always. Not. Not. <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine hitting something like three times your weight on the motorcycle is probably, probably it goes off with a thud. Oh, ha, ah. ha, ah. little bogging down in the, oh crap, what did we hit? Oh my God, we hit a sign. Good Lord, that like, ah, I like it, man. Very good stuff, yeah, I like that. Nice little scenic little area through there, man. Ah, it doesn't matter about caps. I don't. Nobody around here cares about caps. I put all my titles in caps, so I can't get mad at y'all for putting your uh, text in caps. It's one thing if you're like literally screaming through your caps, that's a little different. But yeah. honestly, probably read it better than anything else. <laughs> Yeah, that sound was heavy duty. Yeah, they had that one actually footed in concrete. <laughs> they wasn't just like hammered in the ground like most of them are. Nope. Let's, let's put this in a concrete, boys. I feel pretty sure they will. I mean, I feel pretty sure they will. I mean, they, they really, I mean, <clears throat> especially if it's got this big of a surface area on the top up here, I mean, because Yellowstone, that's where the uh, Old Faithful and stuff is, right? There's the Vetus Power down there. I love those going to the power plants. Here, I'll show you, I'll show you all. Because I can already tell the road's squiggly, so somebody's going to like coming down this road. So looks like we got logging down here. Yeah, I like I like these, man. These pickups are awesome. I love these little pickups. So you got windmill farm up here. You got an HMS over here too, so you can pick up heavy fall heavy hauls out of here. And then uh, you got delivery spots for all your uh, the new engine nacelle loads and whatnot. Yeah, I like these, man. I like the little dirt. They're in the tree, tucked in the trees. Those are nice. It's probably one of my favorite parts about some of the Colorado DLC. At least some of the off the beaten path ones, but there's not too many of them. There's only a couple. Hey, what's up, Alan? How are you, man? Um, it's not Yellowstone. It's, uh... Man, I just went blank. What's the one in, uh, chat? Help us out here. What's the one in, uh, California that SES added? Yeah, nice bridge too, man. I don't know if it's like uh, if if that's legit there, but uh, regardless, man, it looks pretty right there. Left lane trucking. Yosemite, that's it. That's it. That's the one you're looking for. Yeah, nobody say yellow knife. Was it yellow knife? Was that the one from Yogi Bear? Or was that jelly, the jelly stone? Ah, yeah, that's, I guarantee you somebody's like, I think there was a jelly stone park, right? I don't know, boo boo. Alright, so 
we got an empty uh, empty load of cat tail here, so we will. Um, so we're going to continue on. We got a last little bit here, uh, and we'll drive back across. <coughs> excuse me. We'll drive back across and get into South Dakota a little bit. Take that last delivery off there. Yelling on, yeah, it is the city. That's right. That's that's the one I'm thinking. Of. I was thinking Ye uh, Jellystone. That's what I was thinking. Uh, so it's a Patreon, Alan, but it's a. I mean, it's a very fair Patreon. It's not an exuberant price by any means. Um, and he's about done with Kansas, I believe. So, uh, so Mr. Coben, he is the developer on this map. And Coben, if you want to, feel free to push your stuff, man. Um, if you want to you tell people what's planned, what you're going to do next, feel free to, man. It's your platform tonight as well. So uh, feel free to let them know what you got in the works, what's coming out. Um, and then uh, who knows, they might you know, they might want to invest in that if they know what the development plan is. Um, yeah, but feel free to do that, man. Totally cool. Hey, the fact I can't tell when my lights are on during the day, that bothers me. I don't know why. Bothers me a lot. All right, Cody. Here it is. Man, it's funny you said that. Yes, Yogi Moo Boo. Yes. So will they still a picky and make a baskets? There, Moo Boo. So many things went through my mind, no bad. Said Jackson, hold the south end, not down. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, never mind. Turista, what's up, man? Thank you there for the 30 at check kroners. Appreciate the tip, bud. I think that's what that is. I think that's check kroners. Starting to learn some currencies up there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we probably would have lost that one. Every now and again, I get my switch flipped. Now, I, I'd be honest, I, I do enjoy like some of these wide open spaces where there's there, there's enough space to give you the realization that you might be on the kind of the open plains, but you're like not like I always feel like uh, and maybe this is cause it's the way Coast to Coast was for so many years it seems like um, is that you almost feel like you're driving through a trough and I don't know if ATS I feel that way sometimes it's better now but go into California and go up on the north side and tell me you don't feel like you're driving through a constant trough all the time because it's really a way that SES would close off the map because viewpoint wise you couldn't see over the hill and there would be nothing there of course it would just be a 2d you know image that would go up uh, on the sides and your road would be cut in the middle and so this is kind of nice because you get this really nice spans of overlay where it actually has some detailed distance to it you know stuff way off in the distance like like these um, this stuff over here it's not a pickup location or anything but it's far enough off that gives you this like really nice space uh, without feeling like you're jammed up in between a bunch of trees just covering the fact that there's nothing there. So, you know, one of those things. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, <laughs> Jacob just came on. Well, that's the thing, I can't tell when they're on. Oh, there they are. I can see the bottom. All right, so there's the plan there. Plans, uh, plans next is Kansas, uh, a rework there in Nebraska, which actually I like the Nebraska you have. Actually, it's, it's not too bad. I'm actually, I'm actually a pretty, the yeah, pretty good fan of that one. I actually like it. Uh, reworks add in Missouri and Minnesota is going to be the next next ones now. For those that don't know, he's already got at least up through North and South Dakota's got a little bit of uh, it's got some road network in it. Um, he's also got roads over in Iowa, uh, which, you know, he may rework in the future. But if you want to hop on the 80, the cool thing is you, 
can take that North Eddy route and go from Iowa all the way back across Nebraska, back across Wyoming, back through Nevada, uh, or the corner of Idaho there, and you literally can run the 80 all the way back to California. So really nice, uh, you know, stretched out trips and stuff if you're kind of the guy that likes to hop on a long haul. Oh, drat. Did we miss it? Or is it right here? I think the map gets a little freaky right here. It, it, it loses it. Just because I think they would need a road connection right there. I don't think it has it. Chase's Place. What's up, man? Yeah, well, it's all right, man. Well, we get that part of it. That was kind of the early reiterations of that. It's cool. All right. It does have it down the right river, so sweet. All right. Let's knock it out. Uh, it's got two. Um, so it's got this one, and it's got a much taller one that just looks dumb. Yeah, I said it. It looks dumb. I wonder if I can go the other way. Let's pull in this way. And that's Bart's uh, Walker food grade tanker right there. That's another payware one there from uh, Bart. That if you guys want to type in exclamation B4RT. Yeah. It's kind of short slang for Bart. But anyway, uh, that'll pull up his site. You guys can go check out some of his custom designs. We got him this time, Tyler. <laughs> uh, try exclamation B for RT. You guys can look at the command list as well if y'all want to. They should, uh, well, let me let these guys load in here. It should be B4RT, BART. Let's see if BART pops up. I don't even know what I'm. I don't even know what I put it in there for. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So there. If anybody wants to see the commands, uh, you can see some of our other guys that we work with. Um, you can hit those in chat as well. Um, yeah. There it is. So go to Bart Bart's designs there, and then you can check that out. Um, yeah. Anyway. Uh, all right. So we got. Uh, I think we got the little. We got the little guys in there. I think. Let's see. Let's Dev Console in and see. Yeah, there they are. Well, they stuffed up in there. Poor guys. Stuffed in there. Squished them, too. <laughs> okay. Let's see, I think we are, yes, all right, we're going right. Uh, so, all right, so here's the thing. Here's the thing about uh, anything coming out of Jess right now. Um, a lot of guys, train guys see that, and I'll answer it here in just a minute. Um, a lot of Jess Mod stuff in here, anyway, has changed. Um, he now has individual groups for trucks so that he can put updates for those trucks, so that he can put any kind of like teaser images or anything that he wants to. 
he can basically put all of that stuff inside of those individual groups. So you only get an invite to those groups or you only can join those groups if you've actually bought the truck. Um, so if you do, make sure you use the account that you bought the truck with, he'll get you in the group, and then he just uploads a link for you guys to download the update when it's done. So he's not sending them out to every single person because I know Jess Mods has updated that to 140. So um, we drove it, what, like a week ago, maybe, something like that. So hit him up and get the link for the group that you need to join, um, and then you'll find that update for that one in there pretty sure how <laughs> they love to kick <laughs> uh, and I uh, guess I do know that because I bought it from those shops <laughs> they then had it custom built on top of that so yes I know what's up Ace how are you man yeah, 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 yeah. Well, find the group. Just send him a message, man. Ask him which one you need to get into. Um, ask him if he can go ahead and invite you to that group, or if uh, ask, just ask him where to find that group. That'd be the easiest thing, to be honest with you. What's up, Thunder? No problem, man. Hey, what's up, bud? How are you, man? <laughs> yeah, Garrett. I would imagine so. <laughs> I probably also would probably in jail if I drove a truck like I drove a drive on here sometimes. So, you know, each to their own and, uh, you know. <laughs> but I can drive it backwards. I will say that's my claim to fame. I, I can drive the truck backwards. Alright, so I think, uh, I can't remember who it was, asked me about, uh, do I like 140? Is 140 nice? Yeah, you're seeing the, you know, the ultra reiteration of, of this. It's, um, it's an extremely good, uh, I actually think it's well running. It's a little heavy in areas. Um, close these up just a little bit. Um, it's a little heavy in areas that are got a lot of stuff like Vegas and some of those have you know a lot more in them but it's it's also um, it's also not too bad um, on, on system requirements from where they started where they ended I could definitely see where they've taken some liberties they used to have really good looking stuff and things now are a little bit less than what it was uh, you can tell resolutions of things aren't quite as you know they're not they're not quite as in your face uh, which is fine um, clouds, you can tell that the sky system is a, you know, the, and the clouds are a little bit less quality than what they were. Um, probably a true 4K experience kind of, you know, deal clouds. And, and now you can tell that they've definitely uh, smoothed that out just a little bit. It's not nearly as taxing as it used to. Lights, especially at night in the city, requires a lot with the reflections being up. Um, I actually thought the best looking sim they'd ever done was about a week after the release, and then they changed it. So. I guess they were pushing it out there so far to see, like, basically what would the reaction be. Um, they are probably met with a bunch of complaining, so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, and, and, and to be fair, um, you know, if I was driving a truck for real, I probably wouldn't be trying to do this and talk to y'all. <laughs> so, to be fair, I actually would uh, have mine on the road. It's a lot easier to hit the reset when you're playing a game. A lot more expensive to hit the reset in real world. <laughs> yeah, the automatics, I know. I know, I'd have to get in with like an old, I'd have to get in with like an old guy named Barry that's got like three or four as the owner operator wants to pull somebody in to haul some miles for him. It's got some nice trucks. I'd, I'd have to go almost to like a private company. I don't think I can do the other. There it is. I need to reposition my track hour. I tried to put it somewhere different. It didn't like it. All right, train guy. 
Ghost gaming, I don't know. It's, uh, it's all right, man. Got some good mods. Got some good roads. We got Root up front. We got Bart in the back. And we got some Great American Map under our tires. So, yeah. Can't complain. Alex Beza, que pasa, mi amigo? <laughs> Three people just like. <laughs> ah, well, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, man, I just saw, I don't know if any of you guys are on Ruta's uh, Facebook page. Uh, but definitely go check him out because he's got a uh, nice update on uh, his uh, got a nice update on his uh, truck coming up here and he's nearing the finish line on that thing so now that 1-4 is finalized and we got a lot of this stuff is kind of starting to like get stable like really stable uh, it's kind of cool to see his uh, his trucks gonna have so we're gonna have day cabs and mid roofs and flats and we have all kinds of stuff on this truck uh, a lot more options and accessories and I think it's going to be a really, really, really legit, legit truck. So I'm looking forward to it, man. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Game Frank, uh, so the next ATS convoy. Oh, look at there. We got a random sub, man. Hey, Belly. Thanks, man. It's interesting. Yeah, so I was telling, uh, I was telling Chad earlier. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me finish that. Convoy will be whenever they update TMP, which they're saying the end of April. So we'll see. Could be the end of April. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, thank you there, uh, 8 million for in. So anyway, we um, found out and wrote YouTube in a, a series of just small kind of correspondence with them figured out they have redesigned uh, alert systems uh, for third parties and so we will not be getting any more subscriber notifications unless we get those that have been subscribed for uh, on average four to six hours so if you've you know just subbed to the channel uh, that's why you're not seeing any alerts on my stream um, that's by design from YouTube. It's not my problem. It's not a Streamlabs or it's not a Stream Elements problem. Um, Twitch just still allows all their followers and subscribers and all that stuff, but YouTube has changed. Uh, it, they've changed their design on how they do that. I don't know why. Um, they were having a lot of problems with dislike campaigns and um, other different systematic, you know, disruptors that I think they thought by doing that it would help aid in that. Um, I'm not exactly sure how, but unfortunately, like guys like me, I like to be able to thank people that subscribe, and now I can't do that anymore. So, if you have subscribed, thank you guys. I do appreciate you. I just don't know when you do it. That's the sucky part about it. So, uh, I have not Ozolito, and I need to write him. I meant to do it last week, man, and I totally forgot to write him an email. Uh, see what it is. I, I want to say some people have gotten it. They At least they've said they had it, but I haven't seen any pictures of it either. So, I'm not exactly sure, to be quite honest with you. Sheldon, what's up, my friend? How are you, bud? Uh, I am not done eye racing. Uh, These two weeks of Easter have been um, hectic. Uh, I've got another weekend coming up. We've just been busy, man. Um, you know, it's uh, summer's always a hard time, and I, I think I try to get really, try to get really, uh, not summer, but this spring, and kind of as we close out this year, you know school year and stuff with the kids i don't know man it's just it's busy um so being able to put and i've gotten frustrated with the oval dude I, i've gotten so frustrated um i've tried running races and every single one of the people doing stupid stuff that it's just almost like and it always has to happen right in front of me or you know late enough to where i get collected in it because somebody up on the high side of me is doing something dumb 
uh, or just lapses in their own judgment winds up. I have to pay a penalty for that as well. I've had a lot more luck road racing, but also I have to learn the tracks now, which um, it's a lot of fun, but it's not so much more. It's not so much fun on stream. So uh, it's part of that is uh, that's what you get when you've got a part-time YouTuber that's still trying to create content. Um, sometimes the easier content, even for ATS, is a little bit easier to put together and stream together a couple of good episodes of, of streams, you know, for some of these mods are finally getting updated. A lot easier than it is to put hours in the morning or hours in the evening becoming race ready on a road course. You know what I mean? So that, that part, it's, it's kind of hard. It's just, a, it's a, you know, having enough time to do it all. If I had like three more hours during the day, I might be all right. But you know. Not really. Mr. Gold, what's up, buddy? How are you, man? All right, we'll go outside here. And if we got guys just joining us, we are uh, John Rudis Kenworth. Uh, is what we've got here on tap and we've also uh, got this beauty here we got Bart's cattle trailer here which is a uh, gorgeous trailer it's one of the, I think the very first one he did on the payware scene no actually this was the second he did the step deck first and then the Wilson uh, I think was next right there between that and the Walker food grade trailer so uh, still early anyway it's got some age on it but she still looks good runs good he's got a brand new light update too so a light update light pack update so if your game's crashing let's go to the lights so make sure you go grab that from him and we are driving on the great america map uh my mr coben here is in chat with us so uh, a little game plan for great america is going to be a little bit of the rework of nebraska he's going to move on into the m's minnesota and um i forget the, the michigan if that's the one he said uh so he's going to be doing that and plus kansas or missouri that's what it was missouri yeah, so he'll be working Missouri. Kansas is uh, getting close, um, and he's got a patron. So I got all that in the description. Just go check some of those guys out. If any of this stuff you see here in the stream interests you, uh, go grab it. So South Dakota officially. <laughs> Eat chili fries, man. Need to be where you at right now. <laughs> Which one's out there? Actually, all three Bayware. The trailer's 18, the truck, I believe, is 30, and I, the Patreon on the, I can't remember, there's a couple different tiers of the Patreon. So you can still get the map for the lower level, uh, but if you want to invest a little further, you get some other freebies, get some other stuff thrown in on top. Uh, he's got a, another level or something that you can go on the Patreon. But, um, you know, I'd say people ask me, well, is it worth it? Uh, if it were me, yeah, I'd probably roll with it because I'm not a big fan of Call of uh, about to say Call of Duty, of Coast to Coast. I'm just not. Um, you know, I I get that people like it. They do string these long trips together, but I personally don't drive that way. And uh, where I'd actually really want to drive is not really all of that um, you know, detailed. Uh, it's kind of the original map. So my two go-to's are Viva Mexico, uh, obviously Pro Mods Canada. Now that they've got it here, and then Great America. Those those are my three go-to's. Um, I'm not a big fan of the MHA Pro. It's um, it, it's okay. I used to drive it way back when I didn't really know any better, and then we really didn't have any options on ATS. Uh, but now that we got options on it, I just every update is another five dollars for that. And if so, if, if ATS is really if SES is really updating fast, if they're in that mid range where they do 140, then a new truck comes out and it's 141, a new DLC and it's 142, and I mean you know that kind of stuff like strings up pretty quick. Um, so, anyway, yeah, I actually do like Call of Duty. I just can't let myself get started back playing on that one, so. A lot of hours of life were lost playing that game. Oh, no, traffic queue, traffic queue, traffic queue. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man, I thought we'd have it. 
I'm not sure where that car came from unless it was in the right lane. We almost had it, man. We almost had it. We got about 149 miles, so it's going to... Uh, I don't have Truckee running, but it's probably going to be like the next five, six minutes we'll be there. So, so Sierra is now, yes, Scott, is now part of the Reforma. They've got all of their mods down for Viva Mexico, Sierra Nevada. All that's in one mod now. And that one mod is potentially going to come out for MP. They're working on it. So that means we'd have all of Mexico, Sierra Nevada, uh, and then that little piece down there in El Centro, down in South Southern Cal. So we would have an extensive map now on MP if that were the case. Yep, that would be the case. So I know that's what they're working on, getting everything into one mod. Reducing resources and uh, some of their uh, optimization and stuff, like the map, dude. It's clean. It's clean. They've really done a insane amount of work on that map. It's crazy. Yes, pass through Vania. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. And plus with the addition of some of these other ones, it's gonna be kinda nice as we you know, as we make way and move back end of Oh I don't want my truck's book smiles. Good thing I'm loading a lot longer those. Nobody else is. Well, that would be an amazing trip, Jay, if they did. Well, like six months too late, man. Oh my God, FTG's doing over 80. <gasps> All right, so I typically do this from time to time, uh, but since we don't have like a ton of people asking like random, random, random questions, um, about what's going on i'm curious if you guys in chat have mods that you guys have not seen in a while that you want to see um they can be free or payware um or if there's something that you're particularly looking forward to or something that you've never seen or something maybe you have seen but haven't seen me drive uh throw it in chat i'm kind of uh i'm kind of in, you know uh i'm kind of intrigued to see what you guys have been either looking for uh wanting to see or would like to see on the channel and it don't have to be any kind of big, huge, elaborate thing. Um, but I'm trying to go back through some of the stuff, especially that we have not done in a while, because all that's fixing to get a really nice update into 140. So, uh, should yes, Billy, yes. Yeah. Yeah, double D's, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, thank you there, Brent. Brett, sorry, Brett. Thank you there for the uh, seven Canadian dollars, eh? Appreciate you, man. Older school trucks on the Mac R. Yeah, someone else said Mac R. Step deck, yeah, we got that one in. Uh, he's got some new loads on that one. Uh, we'll have the Fontaine, by the way, the Fontaine from uh, Pinga. He's going to be working on that update, and he's got some new flatbed trailer loads for that that are bad and bold. I told him I couldn't wait. It's going to be good. Okay, I'll have to check that one out, Perfect Dipper. I have not. Which, which, uh, which, which the what's the model on that cab over? Is that is it the three sixty four two something like that? Uh. I'm not sure who STC is, Billy. The 600 that I had was from Batut Mods. Uh, good truck. Good solid truck. It's kind of like a mix between a fleet truck and a Hulse truck. Hey, what's up, DJ Hoodie? Uh, about two hours driving through Wyoming. Right now, we are driving through Kadoka, South Dakota. Oh, does it still work? I'm curious to see. The reason I haven't put in there, Ace, I'm curious to see what JVX does. Because he has vegetation files that come with his as well. So, it's been a while since uh, 
you know, he says his update is, is nearing completion, so we'll see. We'll see. I like this part, man. This little part of South Dakota is nice. I like this. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually probably even for SES. I hope some of these Dakotas will be really fast. Because honestly, I mean, there's not too much in a lot of these. But I still enjoy this just wide open road. I like it. I like the city driving too, but I think it can get old after a while. Uh, Farmer John G. No, so if the thumbnail says uh, what I say, cattle, cattle hauling, and it says Great America Map at the top. So we just did the Great America Map. So when I said we are literally going through Wyoming because Wyoming is in the Great America Map. So I didn't clickbait that. People just didn't read the thumbnail. They didn't look at it. So. Donation truck, all the 352. Oh, so Perfect Dipper, is that the one that's like the 352, 362, the one that has like a really good outside, but the interior lacks a lot? Hey, it's fine if it's not. I, I know there was one out there, a project the guy was working on, so. We, we, what we do with Great America Map, Javil, we, we don't have it for SES yet. <laughs> Too excited to look at the thumbnail. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that's the one thing that people typically look and then they never read the title. Seriously, I could have not put anything in the thumbnail or not put anything left of title blank and, and somebody would. Or I could have put everything in it, like everything. People coming in and say, what are you driving? Where's Wyoming? You know, that, like it would have been the exact opposite of everything that was done. It's like, it's so difficult too. It's so typical. I had a good roast with chat early on in stream. It was actually pretty good. All right, Trav, have a good man. Yes, I did, pretty much. Yeah. At least the first 30, 45 minutes, the things th then things kind of like simmer down a little bit. <laughs> I, mean, I was just like, oh, God. And I'm sitting there thinking about it. I was like, well, I mean, I guess I can see that. But, you know, of course, me, I go to... Well, I mean, we all know that I wouldn't have no access because, you know, SES is going to stream. Like, you know, SES will stream Wyoming for like three weeks before anybody gets their hands on it. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> it won't be. No, none of us will have it early. <laughs> yeah, don't ask that. It's not a Ford Chevy question. You'd be surprised, Farmer John. You'd be surprised. I was actually going to answer that. No, that was uh, Olsen's. Oh, Black Wolf has a nice... Okay. Perfect Dipper, if you are in my Discord, and if you're not, uh, drop in. Drop me a link to where I can find him. Um, whether it's Facebook, whatever. Drop me a link. I'll reach out to him. I'll check some pictures out of it. And if it looks, if it looks legit, I would love to have a legit cab over uh, for our arsenal here on the mod stuff because all we have are these and there's a couple but they're all C and they got the Mac F700 which is not really a like a normal like cab cab over not like those those 350s were so all right man we'll be safe man have a good in there trucker thanks for uh, stopping in and hanging out with us let me know too if you need some uh, updates on those. Uh, I've got some updates for you on those those two that you won on the live stream that day. So next time you're around the game to play a little bit, let me know. And oh shoot, I missed. Oh, going it, guys. I missed my turn. So if yeah, anyway, if you want to, just I'll hit you up. You can uh, get those from me. Yeah, yeah, drop it to me, Dipper. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, cause I, I love to check out Cabo, right? I enjoy it. I feel like other people don't, but I feel like they're just uh, the truck that's misunderstood. Because honestly, I like going to uh, ETS to drive Cabo over to ETS because the turning radius is glorious. I did miss my turn. Uh, me 4K camera? It wouldn't matter if it was a 4K camera. Um, actually, that is a Logitech camera that you're seeing me on. That's what you're talking about. But I'm glad I look better than I normally do. That's a lot of traffic. 
You know what we have to do? We're gonna have to stick our nose out. Somebody will eventually stop. See? Excuse me. Such a weak horn. Why why do we not have horn mods? Why why are we still driving with these little Horns are as bland as a tumbleweed rolling across the hills of South Dakota. Hey, Joey, thanks, man. Jake Greenwood. What's up, man? Oh, my God, Brandon. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We need something. You're right, Joe. We need something, man. I just can't believe that nobody's come up with some legitimate truck horns. Like, that would be an easy thing to record. Even for freebies. Maybe maybe the horn sounds just come attached to the engines, and it's just not that easy to do it, man. Maybe. Yeah, it can't be more. Yeah. Well, I like this. Bush no farm, sunshine crops. Got the competitors in on the screen. Well, don't tip me there, Kevin. I want to take you up on that, buddy. <laughs> I'll take you up on that one. Yeah, I, I'm surprised he hasn't. He's got all of those other perfect little like snippet mods, you know, like the air brake mod and this mod and that mod. I think it's a question of you know adding the def files to make the trucks compatible. Uh, by the way, for those that enjoy a good 359, so we've got Felix's uh, 359. We also got, um, you know, comparatively, we have also RTA stuff just updated. Um, so we've got the 359 there, which I still love the 359. I still think it's a bad of the bold little truck. Um, and uh, both of them have really nice accessories. Both of them have a very nice truck. So. He's going to finish up the sounds. He's got the sounds left to do on that. So I told him once he gets the sounds complete, uh, then we will pop that baby out for a live stream. So um, I think he was already in talks with the guy about doing some sounds for it, porting some stuff over for his truck. So if that goes over well, then hopefully it'll be you know much longer than that. that. And uh, and we will get a 359 out of you guys. Y'all check out some new stuff. We'll do a build drive with it. So. <laughs> uh, I've had it a couple different ways, Robbie G. Um, so uh, you really can't see it on that camera. I've got another button box mount that comes with this Semitic uh, uh, rig that I have. Uh, it's more definitely more geared towards um, definitely more geared towards uh, racing. Uh, but I actually built a just a plywood cardboard. I'm uh, not cardboard, just a plywood box um, at a half inch. And then uh, screwed, nailed everything together, and wrapped that in carbon fiber, um, just like a not an upholstery fabric, but like a vinyl fabric. And uh, so I could pull it off; it would be like a sticker. And I've I've made me a little mount to mount right up to the side of the uh, to the rig. So that's how mine's mounted. They've got Visa mounts, which probably if you're running 8020 rigs or running something on a tabletop, it's a little easier to do a Visa mount. The other thing that I would suggest, and the one thing that I'm going to see if I can figure out how to like make this work, um, the one thing I think would be cool for guys that are mounting these boxes is to get the base mount for them, and then go over to like Chief or like a Ram mount and get a base of Ram mount so that you can clip or fasten it anywhere, and the base mount comes on the Ram mount, then you can move it wherever you want to. I about doing that, you know, just as a quick workaround for guys, you know, that are looking to get one but they don't really necessarily want to drill a hole in their table <laughs> or they don't have a rig to attach it to like this so all right all right um 
<laughs> Come on, no man. Come on. Don't be so harsh. <laughs> Don't be harsh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, so here's here's how um here is how things work in ATS. Uh, they have no bearing on the real world. Um, there are, are a few, of course, guys that drive like they're in the real world and have no life and literally just spend their days literally just wasting them away driving imaginary miles for people um, when they probably could actually get their trucking license to go do it for real and actually make money. <laughs> uh, which which is And they don't even stream or make money through donations or anything, so it's kind of funny. But... Uh, the thing that's interesting about it is that everybody in ATS wants what nobody else has. Um, so everybody right now has cattle pot trailers. Everyone has Kenworth, uh, you know, from John Ruda, Peterbilt 389s, 79s, all these normal trucks that you know, my Freightliner Classic XL, there's, you know, five or six gazillion, gazillion of those. You've got fleet trucks mixing there. You've got Pro Stars. You've got, you know, everything else from the International to Lone Star. So fleet trucks are now covered. And it's the only truck that we don't have. Well, you've got the Aussie trucks, but American guys do not like uh, to do that. Diamond Rio, we have one of those. Uh, Chaos Shadow Walker's got a Diamond Rio. Uh, he's got a lot of old school trucks. He's working on a Brockway right now uh, that he's wanting to – uh, get it out. We've got Max Superliners. We've got a couple of them. We've got Aussies. We've got the the what the four. I can't remember four sixty nine. The the, uh, the nine oh eight. We got the one oh eight. We got the K two hundred. We got all of these Aussie trucks that are cab overs, but necessarily in the Argus, you know, nobody in America want to drive those because they're quote unquote Aussie. So what's the one truck we don't have? One truck we don't have is the three fifty sixty series cab overs from Peterbilt. So guess what everybody wants? Three fifty sixty series. Cab overs from Peterbilt. And that's that's literally it. I mean, so once we have that, then everyone will be after what we don't have then. So it'll be on to the next truck that we don't have. You know, we the the community, I guess what, a guy about six weeks ago. Uh yeah, we've got Marmon. Uh, Blade does a Marmon. It's pretty. Uh we got the long nose, the five twenty one. We got those. Yeah, Sean, most of yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, most of all these are. Yeah. Um <laughs> Dave Ball says yes. <laughs> oh gosh, that was good, man. That's Gamer X. That was good, man. <laughs> oh, look deep in your heart, you'll see the answer. Love it, man. So we do have a ton of trucks. They just, you know, people just want they want something they haven't had before. We went about six months ago, went through a huge spurt of old trucks. So I think the Marmon came out. We had, you know, the, the older school stuff came out. You know, KI did like the Dodge Ram, the Bighorn. Um, he did the Dodge Bighorn edition, uh, which only saw a couple of years of production. He did that Mac F700, which had an old school flair. We did the International 9300. We did... The I think I said the Mac F7 and the Brockway edition of that. I'm like the Mac Superliner. So, I mean, it's like we've had all of these old school trucks all came out in just one flash, and now everyone's back into this, like, 389, 79. Like, everybody's kind of kicking in that again, and then we're starting to roll back through it. So, it's it's interesting. It's, it's, uh, it's interesting. So, uh, so, Jake, yes. Um, the... Um, uh, build drives we do when there's something new to build and something new to drive. For the most part, for the, about the past months, we've had a few new things to build and drive or build and haul like on the trailers, but a lot of it has gone really quiet. It's neither edits or updates for trucks, and they're really not adding enough into them because we've had compatibility updates. But I will say we have a couple because John Root is, is going to have a really nice one. We're going to build drive and showcase that truck off. Um Hey, thank you there, Captain Chaos. I don't have a Vespa for ATS, but Chaos New Brockway is looking good. It is, and thank you there for that 20 uh, super chat there, Captain Chaos. Appreciate you, brother. Good to see you, man. Thank you. Um, and so, we've, we, you know, it's it's just interesting how fast some of this stuff changes over and how fast people want to move back into certain things. It's, it's, uh, it's a little crazy, uh, to be honest with you, how fast some of this stuff moves. 
Um, but the building drives will come back because we also have a Roland 389. That one is getting a nice content update. He's working on lots of new little parts for that, some cabs, and um, so I'll be excited to see what all he's uh, what all he's done on that truck. So we'll have that one. John Root is. We might have a Brockway with uh, Cash Shadow Walker's got that one coming up. Uh, and then all these guys are going to be putting out some updates. We've got trailers coming up that's got updates. Uh, we got the Fontaines from Pinga is going to be getting updates. He's got, a, like, I don't know, like 17 new loads throughout his trailers. He's got a heavy haul that he's fixing to update. Uh, he's got the Kozad he's going to be putting in through updates. So, I mean, he's got about three trailers coming up. Bart's got some new stuff on his. I mean, it, it's – it's good for updates if you've actually bought into a lot of these mods. You're probably going to start seeing some emails rolling out in the next month. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, it's, 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 it'll be interesting. So it uh, depends on what your, your truck is there, Jake. But, uh, but yeah, so we'll have, we'll have some stuff in there. Uh, we'll, ha we'll have a lot of stuff over the next ones. That, that'll be kind of nice. Yeah, you'll have to. You can hit me up in Discord and send me pictures of it. We'll see what I can do. The message, yes, yeah, for the group, yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, we don't have a coffin sleeper on three seventy nine, but we'd have to go up to three eighty nine for that one. Nice Polito, yeah, man. You'll like, you'll like. I mean, Dom's dude, Dom's and Pingas, both of them are solid, dude. Really, really good. Uh. All right, cool. Um, all right, cool. All right, that's gonna be it for me. Uh, really, oh shoot, two hours and twenty minutes, man. We had a good, good drive time today. It was good. I enjoyed getting back in the old Kenny. It was nice to get back in old John Rudis quality. It's very nice. When you go in old school, but I don't know, Farmer T. Uh, probably when we roll up in the, uh, the Brockway from, uh, Cash Shadow Walker, he's got cooking. Um, some will like that truck. Some will hate that truck. Uh, personally, I, I, I mean, I think it's a, a decent truck. Um, hey, I'm not on Insta, not with any of this stuff. Um, you can hit me up on Facebook. You can full tilt gaming on Facebook. I've got messenger stuff through that. So you can hit me up there. Um, obviously discord. Um, trying to think of what else. Twitter at full tilt. Yeah. But full tilt game in on Facebook as well. Um, but uh, anyway, that's it for me. I will, uh, I guess we'll get going here. I'm trying to think. Let's see, today's Tuesday. Um, maybe by Friday. No, 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 no. I don't want to say that. Uh, so we'll see what's up for tomorrow and Thursday, Friday, what's up the rest of the week. Um, I don't want to completely nail into any times, but. Uh, we'll try to go Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I may take tomorrow off uh, to do some just IRL stuff that I need to get done and help out with. And then maybe we'll be back on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday with some hopefully some new stuff, uh, at least not checking out some updates, maybe some different kind of style builds with some of the trucks we've been kind of rolling here the last bit. But we got to have um, some new like So we got Bart stepped that back in the mix again. So I got that all updated. Got my key files back from Bart. Um, so we'll be featuring a lot of his trailers, even the Cheetah ja uh, the Cheetah uh tanker uh we haven't driven that one in like ages so i'll give you guys some new trailers to look at some new mods other than that yeah yeah hopefully T tmp updates will be back as well um so um if i do forza i don't know we haven't been doing a lot of forza i wouldn't mind I'd like to record some fly sim even though a lot of guys here won't watch it um even just record it and do some of our takeoff checks and actually riding along with one of our buddies timbo or sinister or any of those guys that are um that are actually out doing the flight thing uh, we get together and we actually fly in the same plane and fly it together tandemly which is pretty awesome um so might have some help at the cockpit to uh, get some things done which will be really interesting so um but we'll just kind of cut off the boring stuff so once we get up into cruise and that kind of stuff we'll we'll plan our our takeoffs and then our landings and stuff so that way it's the cool stuff you want to see um and we'll do it in a320 so it, it'll be nice it'll be nice uh, i like it so Anyway, um, I will uh, I will be back here. So hopefully we'll see you guys here in the next live stream. But thank you all, guys. Thanks uh, for the uh, unwavering support as always. So I always give a shout-out to everybody here. Uh, so thank you there. Gary got us started off <clears throat> tonight. 
Let's appreciate you, buddy. Devious with the big winner tonight with $50 uh, chat there, man. Appreciate it there, Devious, too. Cardinals fan got a couple of tips in there. Mr. Top Nosh Truck in there with the 20 Super Chat. Trucker Dude re-upped membership here for his second month. So thank you there for two months, Trucker Dude. Uh, role play in there. Had a couple of twos and a couple of fives in there. So appreciate that role play. Uh, like DOJ. Logan Bailey there with the $2 Super Chat. Uh, Teristo with some check kroners. Appreciate it, man. Eight Belly. Uh, it was our, uh, I guess, a random new sub that uh, YouTube decided we needed to know about. So thank you there, Abe. Uh, Brett with $5 uh, and also Captain Chaos. Closing us down with $20 Super Chat. Uh, so appreciate it, guys, as always, man. Much love to y'all. Thank you there, Logan. Good to see you, man. Uh, very nice. It was very, very good. So um, hopefully we'll see you guys here in a couple days. Uh, but that is going to be it from me. Y'all stay safe. Drive safe if you are on the road. Uh, other than that, we'll see you here at our next appointed live stream. Hopefully with some new stuff, but if not, we'll have some cool stuff that you guys can do. And Captain Geo's coming in, sliding into home on a suicide play with a $5 super chat. <laughs> Just appreciate it, man. Yeah, 53000 I know, right, Andrew? Hey, pretty cool, man, 53000 So we're uh, slowly but surely ticking right on up there. So uh, it's always a good sign to see, man. So thank you, guys. Appreciate it very much. Uh, absolutely love to see you guys. And hopefully uh, not too long for some TMP. We'll be back in it. Uh, but until then, we will see you guys on the next live stream. We'll see you. Peace out.